What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic. I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on this series. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. Very good. Yes, very good. Very good indeed. Uh, I had an idea. Uh, the Grego mod has been updated. Now a lot of people are not a fan of the mod, but then a lot of people are a fan of the mod and they want to see the capabilities, but the new update is a train update. What? It's craziness. Oh, oh, I know, right? Oh, hey, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> so, um, it's a train update. Now, it has a different kind of blocks, and it also has rail blocks as well. Wedge rail blocks can help you with the curve a little bit. It takes some finagling, but it's pretty fantastic. So I decided to make a train, but not just any train. I wanted to make a dragon train. I'm going to run a train. All over you. Gross. Okay, so let's check it out. Boom! <laughs> oh, shizzle! It's the dragon train. Has no moving parts other than the fact that it is a uh, it's a dragon that rolls on wheels. I was trying to get it to uh, I was going to try and build some arms for it, um, but I kind of I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time here. <laughs> so I decided that I was just going to keep it just like a kind of like a Falcor kind of deal. I, can, I should have painted it white, we could just call it Falcor from Never Ending Story. Is that his name? I think it was. I think so. But uh, I was uh, get picking up some Chinese, and I just so happened to see one of those uh, paper Chinese dragons on the uh, on the wall, kind of like as a you know decoration. And I was like, that would be kind of cool if we can mess around with the train, because I saw the Grego mod had a train, the train mode, and the train update, and I was like, I think that would be kind of cool if I could try to make a dragon into a train. Or train into a dragon. How to train your dragon. Ah, I said it. So, let's see. I'm going to grab a lift. I'm going to hop up here because I'm not... Boy, I'm going to hit or miss when it comes to painting. So I'm like, uh, let's just see here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I like that, but then I also like the red, and we can just switch it up, but then the orange kind of conflicts, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, let's see if we can just hop in the yellow. Poppins the yellow! Poppins. Toppins. Toppins. Wholesale. Uh, maybe put that back to red? Nah, that was better than yellow. I like it. I like it better when it's yellow. So, still got some tweaking to do. For sure, and for you. Now, I am going to explain that, uh, see how these, uh, train, the train rails, boom, the new Grego mod, and also the little blocks, too, the new rail blocks that he has for the Grego mod in the link down in the description below. Go ahead and click on it, download it, and then you can have these train parts in your selection. So there's uh, train wheel one beta version train wheel two beta version. There's also a small train wheel Oh, and then there's two by two train wedges three two by three two by four two by five two by six two by seven And then a 20 by one rail block that's just straight rail also. We have curved small ramps One by two two by two and one by one ha 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 two by three also four is the edge And that's about it now, as far as making this bad boy go Making this puppy purr. It's really easy. Really, really simple. I have four engines just in case. I also have two controllers just in case, but one controller controls three doors. There are one, two, three, four, five seats and a driver's seat in the front. And then we go ahead and we hit this bad boy right there. Everything drops. In the tail section, this is where you would stick your luggage or your cargo or, where, or, or your, your uh, say, like in uh, survival. We're going to have lockers, so you can set up lockers inside there. That would be pretty dope. Oh, but I didn't paint the seats, though. Oh, that's just rude of me. Let's just make it black. We'll make it black. We'll make it black. Oh, God. I hate when that kind of glitch does it, where it's like, Nope, we don't like you. We're going to kick you out. Two controllers there. They all go at a 105-degree angle. We also have a couple little spikes in the back, too. They're all painted yellow. And, uh, yeah. Pretty fantastical. The uh, engine is set to one. No, it's not set to one. It's set to like five or six. Something like that. Something like that. 
And then we rolling. They see me rolling. They hating. I should have like some fire breathing out of the uh, the dragon. And then it goes around the curves here. We don't have the uh, the train uh, rails extended to a certain to a certain part, but I'll tell you what. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't fall off the back. Please don't fall off the back. That would be devastating. That would be devastating. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I missed the spot. Uh, huh. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Now, as you can tell, that there is no link in the uh, download section down below. Um, because there's been a slew of thieves. And when I say thieves, I mean people who will take the download link put it into a world and then they'll hop on their they'll hop on their YouTube channel and then try to play it off like it's theirs I've had uh, in the, even in the last uh, scrap mechanic uh, fan creations fan, I have had sick I think I was six in a row until I said okay I'm not gonna do an episode of fan creations because six in a row were creations that I've already seen from other players like exact replicas so I'm see, I'm noticing a trend of people grabbing up uh, people's creations and then using them as their own and try to play it off like it's theirs and that's not cool because as far as YouTube goes let's see can we put some nostrils that just looks dumb that looks stupid that looks dumb too hmm uh nah screw it uh, Lou up the greatest had a couple of uh, creations stolen from him, and then he finds them on a channel that's speaking Spanish. Like it's a <laughs> it's a Spanish channel. I'm like it's like the Telemundo of, of uh, YouTube, and uh, it's uh, happened to Ye Old Mama as well, um, and a gang of other people are getting their creations stolen, and then people are just kind of ripping them off. So it's just a task to try and do a copyright. I've done. We've all we are all aware of the copyright problems I was having with a certain person who was uploading my videos like for real like just straight up not even trying to mask it nothing not even speaking any different kind of language or anything like that nope just taking my entire video and then just uploading it to his YouTube channel and that was about a month and a half's worth of uh, constantly badgering YouTube like hey man uh, this is my stuff so as far as fan creations go I'm only gonna be taking submissions that are like legit where I'm gonna be looking for them I go wow that's crazy that is a crazy creation. Now let me go and see if we can find it in somebody else's world. Because something tells me this is too good to be true. I've had a couple excellent ones. I've had a bunch of excellent ones. But even in that last scrap mechanic one where uh, it was like this little frog thing from Sam Hanna. It was obviously a tutorial that he took from Monkey Farm. And I was like, okay, so that's one one of me, one of the uh, the eight creations, and then some people were giving me crap because it was like, uh, well, actually, the uh, the manual transmission is Lightbringer. You should give him credit. No, I'm not giving I'm not giving Lightbringer credit for that car. It's not the same exact car. That's what I'm saying. It's not the same exact car that Lightbringer has in his video. So it's not really his creation. It's the fact that he found out. He did find out the uh, the manual transmission. He's the first to ever do that. That is correct. But it's not the exact car. So he just took the manual transmission car and just the mechanic, if you will, and then just made it his own by making a cool car with manual transmission. That's how I seize it. That's how I seize it. Some people may not see it that way. And I get it. I get it. Okay, hold on. We gotta angle these jaunts here real quick. I just realized it looks stupid. Boom. So that's the reason why. And it's just amazing that <laughs> people think that, hey man, we're just going to take this and uh, we're going to try and make it our own. No one, no one will know. The internet. The internet always knows. That sounds so heavy. The internet always, always knows. Always. Always knows. Let's go ahead and we'll pop that down. Boom. Boom. Plus, uh, there's a new thing coming for Scrap Mechanic, I believe. I'm not sure if it's going to be in this update or the next, but blueprints are coming to Scrap Mechanic, where if you create something, you can then transfer it over to another world, which will then breed a whole new batch of people jacking people's uh, <laughs> things. It's ridiculous. Um, I can't wait for 
when Scrap Mechanic is on the Steam Workshop so that that way we know who the creator is, we know where to get it, and we don't have to worry about thieves. And I say thieves in the nicest way possible, and you know I'm trying to be kind as nice as I am because thieves is a nice term for what I have to say about that. So I, uh, I perform stand-up comedy. I've been a uh, stand-up comic for about four years. So I've run into my fair share of you know joke thieves and material thieves and just uh, had to explain to them what they're doing. And I get what they're doing. I understand what they're doing. They don't have the kind of creativity that other people have, so they have to steal. I get it. Oh, no, I get it. They can't, uh, when it comes to comedy and things like that, when it comes to stand-up comedy, the people who thieve other people's jokes are people who just don't want to, to bomb. They're afraid, they're so afraid to fail that they take other people's stuff that's worked out. And you can always tell who, you can always tell when they work somebody else's joke out and then you can hear their material because other people's stuff gets a huge laugh, meanwhile their stuff falls flat. All right, ooh, everything was going well up until that one joke. Oh, that was his joke. That's right. Now, I do have a bunch of fan creations that are still in the in my uh, email queue. I got a, I got at least 5 a day. And the fan creations are not going to go away, but it's just uh it may be something where I have to replace uh the fan creations portion the second uh I mean the second the workshop comes into play. And that's when it may have to go. Faux show. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. We'll find out. But I swear, I, I, I literally saw six in a row, and then I just said, okay, all right, I, I'm not going to look at this. I can't look at this anymore. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't work with them. Can't win with them. There, that's much better. That way it doesn't have the little jagged edge. Jagged edge. So there's no download link in the download section down below. Unless I get requested for it. If I get requested and requested, I have to make everyone sign a waiver. No, I'm not going to do that. Because um, yeah, I, I like to give stuff. I like to give free stuff away. I really do. I really like to give the creations, and everyone can download it. But you know, it's the. I haven't seen any of my stuff anywhere, but it's only a matter of time because everything's just so great. You know what I mean? No. No. But it's a bummer, man. That's a bummer, man. That's a real bummer. Good talk. So, <laughs> so I know it's a uh, not exactly the the craziest thing ever, but you know I like it, and it can be expandable to as many cards as you would like, uh, however big you would like. Um, we shall see. And I want to try and make a world now with the blueprints that are coming in Scrap Mechanic. Oh, I forgot that I missed a spot. This is spot spit spot. Uh, with the blueprints that are coming, that means that you can take something that you made in one world and then bring it into another world, which is going to be cray cray in the brain brain. Let me just see here. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like, I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right. So you can take creations from a different world and then bring them into a world where that creation is not. So hence, uh, like, uh, say, you are on a buddy's multiplayer world and you want to bring you made something really cool when he wasn't at, when he wasn't on and then you can just take that blueprint and then bring it into that world and everyone is all happy about it and they're like oh my god that's so amazing and you're like yeah I know thank you I'm aware I'm aware of how great I am now um, let's see here boop 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 do 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 nice there we go but you are pretty so everyone, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below of uh, you know my my suggestion and what I'm what I'm getting after, and uh, also what you think about the build as well. I think it's pretty cool. Oh God, help! Help! I can't get into my own machine. Help! Help! Hut! Hut! We! All right, let's hide that hood. Boom! <laughs> All right. So, folks, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, hit like. It helps my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like, shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic next time. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah.
You're pretty badass looking, I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. 